This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Uh, sensitivity analysis. Um, and to explain, or in fact remind you, because I think you should have seen it before, but to explain now what we're talking about, look at exercise four. Harry is about to consider a new business opportunity. Uh, based on his current estimations, the opportunity looks profitable. Forecasted sales revenue, 30,000 a year, based on 1,000 units sold. His accountant has estimated fixed costs of 15,000 a year. And the variable costs per unit are likely to be $10 per unit. Uh, a. Confirm on the above figures that it is profitable. So that shouldn't take us a moment. Um, sales revenue, 30,000. Um, the variable costs is $10 a unit. There are 1,000 units, so 10,000. And the fixed costs, 15,000. And so uh, the profit per year is what? 5,000. So yes, it is, it does appear to be profitable. Except of course, those are all estimates. That's assuming we do sell a thousand units. If we sell more, and fairly obviously more profitable, if we sell less, less profitable. Um, it's assuming we sell at $10 a unit. It's assuming fixed costs will be 15,000. Sorry, we're selling at $30 a unit. Uh, the variable costs are 10. They're all assumptions or forecasts. And the problem is, of course, if any of those turn out to be wrong, then sales volume, for instance, if we sell more, then we're going to be more profitable. That's no problem. If we sell less, we'll be less profitable. We'll still be profitable, though, if we only sell a bit less. But if we sell a lot less, then, of course, we could become loss-making. So what sensitivity is in part B is looking to see what percentage change in any of the variables can we afford before we start making a loss? And let's look at them one by one. Firstly, the selling price. Our selling price, uh, remember it was a thousand units, and so for total revenue of 30,000, we must be expecting to have a selling price of 30. Well, assuming everything else is certain, by what percent can we afford that 30 to change before we start to make a loss? The break-even would be where we made no profit, no loss. And although I can give you a rule, see the logic, you see if that, if that uh, price per unit, if it fell by, let's say, 10%, the total revenue had fall by 10%. 10% of 30. It had fall by 3,000. If everything else stays fixed, the profit would fall by 3,000. Well, to get to a profit of zero, we can afford the, the profit to fall by 5,000. The only thing that's going to change is that 30. And so, the sensitivity will be 5,000 over 30,000 as a percent, which is 5 over 30, 16.67%. And think it through, check you're happy with the logic, because the others then can become automatic. So you see, if the 30 fell by 16.67%, and we still sold 10,000, a thousand rather, uh, then the total revenue at four by 16.67%. 16.67% of 30,000 is 5,000. We'd end up with a profit of zero. So any smaller drop and we are still profitable, any larger drop and we're loss making. Uh, strictly we should put a sign against it. 
it's minus 16.67 because I'm only worried if the sales price falls. Obviously, if the sale price ends up being higher, then we make even more profit. There's no problem. In a similar way, two, the sales volume. Um, this time, everything else is fixed. But it's just the sales volume that we're worried about changing. Well, what will be affected? If the sales volume changes, then obviously the sales revenue changes, but so too will the variable costs. We're uh, expecting a thousand units revenue at 30 and variable costs a thousand at 10. Well, fixed costs will stay the same, but the total revenue, the total variable costs will both change, or the contribution, surely. The contribution is 20,000. It's that 20,000 that will change. 10% fall in volume, there'll be a 10% fall in the contribution. The total fall we can afford again, to get to a profit of zero is 5,000. The item that's changing is the contribution of 20,000. And so in percentage terms, we can afford, again, to fall, so it's negative, by 5 divided by 20, which is 25%. By now it should, I hope, be get getting automatic. What about number 3? Uh, the total variable costs. Well, the variable costs on their own are 10. If they were the only things that were changing, which means, therefore, the variable cost per unit was unsure. Well, if you're unsure about the variable cost per unit, at the moment, it's 10,000. We can afford it to change by up to 5,000. So 5,000 as a percentage of the thing that's changing is 50%. And this time, of course, uh, we're only worried if variable costs go up. If variable costs get lower, the profit gets higher. And again, I probably shouldn't need to, but you see, we've got a thousand we're expecting a thousand at ten dollars but if the variable costs went up to fifteen dollars fifty percent the total would be fifteen thousand the profit would be zero now finally the fixed costs again we can afford the final profit to change by five thousand the fixed costs they are currently estimated at fifteen thousand and so in percentage terms, they can change by 5 over 15, 33%. And plus minus, well plus, it's only if the costs increase that the profit falls. So there we are, I hope a simple enough exercise. Um, C says comment on the results. We appreciate the significance and the problems with sensitivity analysis. First of all, <coughs> the smaller the sensitivity, the more worried we are about that particular factor. So in this case, it's the selling price that's most sensitive because that only has to change by 16% before we start making a loss. Whereas, what was number three? Variable costs would have to go by 50%. So the smaller the sensitivity, the more worried we are. And as a result, we'd perhaps put more work into checking how likely our estimate is to be correct. Uh, here, the, they all need to change by a fair bit. But you see, if you've got something where the sensitivity was only 2%, a tiny change would mean it was unprofitable. So you put a lot more work trying to uh, see, you know, how accurate is our estimate likely to be. And in fact, if the sensitivity was very small, you might even decide not to even take the risk, even though it looks as though it should be profitable. All right, well, that's sensitivity analysis.